some sneak peeks at the Jordan 31, more KD9 ID option, Drake's Golden Tins, and a lot more. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. Earlier this month, Nike released the KD9 on Nike ID in very limited colorways. I was on the fence about getting a pair and decided to hold off, but it looks like a few more options are going to be hitting Nike ID today. I actually already have. Announced over the weekend, the new options seem to be based around the Olympics and let you pick a lot more colors. There's also an option to get a country flag as part of the design, as long as that country is Spain, Brazil, Canada, or the USA. They also have some city icons, but again, those match those same countries. They also have an XDR option for those that like to get down outdoors. Pricing is $195, and I've included the link down below. Making gold shoes is kind of a thing now, and Drake isn't playing around when it comes to his Air Jordan 10. Now, whether this is the black or the white colorway of the shoe, I'm not sure, but that probably doesn't even make a difference. Created by artist Matthew Cena, the pair of kicks has been dipped in solid gold and weighs close to 100 pounds. So this isn't something that you're actually going to wear. It's more of like a trophy piece you put on the shelf. Considering they weigh 100 pounds, I did the math, and that puts the value of these right around $2 million. Though my favorite when it comes to the Olympic kicks is the Air Force 180. There are many of you out there that prefer the Nike Air more of tempo, which I can totally understand. Rocking that giant air on the side, these seem to be making a big comeback this year and I've actually been selling pretty well for a retro. Keeping with the Olympic thing, Nike is actually blessing Pippen's USA basketball kits from 96 with the Midnight Navy and white treatment with a touch of metallic gold and university red thrown in for good measure. If you peep the heel, you can actually see Pippen's number eight right there, and that kind of helps finish up the details on the design. You can look for those on Wednesday for $160. If the current 2.5 is what floats your boat, you are in luck as Under Armour has three pairs for you to cop starting today, actually. Rocking that reinforced upper that should easily get you through the summer on the court. This playoff version of his signature shoe is available now in simple black and white, which looks pretty cool. There's also the triple black pair for those that like that, and the third pair they're calling Elemental. The Elemental pair is said to be inspired by Curry's game, and as Under Armour says it, Curry's game is a force of nature. The upper is a mix of navy and red with a little bit of white, and you can grab those for $135 at UA.com and select retailers. Later this week, we'll get a closer look at the Air Jordan 31 from Jordan Brand, and I'll actually be on site for the unveil, so make sure you follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat for the details. I'll be doing a video about it as well, but I'll be posting stuff about it during the day on those channels. So before the official unveil, it looks like the model has already leaked. The Air Jordan 1 inspired colorway popped up over the weekend, and the USA inspired colorway being revealed via the Team USA photo on the feet of Carmelo Anthony and Jimmy Butler. Reactions so far seem to be a bit mixed, but it definitely looks like an interesting shoe. I'm looking forward to getting them in my hand and giving you guys my full thoughts. For the last video, I wanted to know what you guys thought of the A16 Plus Control Boost, and this is what Matthew Tham had to say. That Ultra Boost looks sick, and it looks like it combines the caged and uncaged Ultra Boost look. So, I think that's pretty dope. After today's question of the video, well, it comes from Kid Sandro. He wants to know, what is an expensive shoe that you wouldn't mind buying a fake pair of? That's a good question. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As for the rocket today, it is this shoe. This is the Nike Lunar Fly Knit, I'm sorry, Lunar Epic Fly Knit. Uh, this is one of the original colorways. They actually have some better colorways now that the shoe has been out a little bit. Um, but it's a, becoming a lot more comfortable to me. At first, it bothered me a little bit that I'm on my Achilles here, but the more that I wear them, uh, the less that that bothers me. So yeah, it's what I'm rocking today, Lunar Epic Fly Knit. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening here. And follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat chat because I'm doing a lot of cool stuff over on Snapchat. You guys gotta let me know what you think about the Snapchat stuff that I'm doing. Let me know down in the comments below as well. And uh, make sure you hit that like button because it definitely helps me out. As always, I'm Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks and I'll see you soon. I appreciate you. Peace. My apologies to you uh, knife people out there. It's like almost like some sort of conspiracy theory. So it is a pair of Adidas as you can see. And as you can see, it says V66. So this is something from Vans. I'm not exactly sure what it is from Vans, but that's why we're here to do the unboxing.